All right. Um, now I'm just going to duplicate a couple more of these and bring it down here just so that I know this box is my demo reel. And then this box over here is a um, description. Alright, so there's there's our layout right there. And uh, it's pretty close to what I was thinking beforehand. It's a little bigger, but uh, that's fine. Looks good. So I'm just going to save this out. So Control Shift S or Control yeah Control Shift S, uh, and I'll just name this layout one. Okay. Um, I think that's it for this tutorial. Uh, I'll I'll see you in the next one uh, where we start blocking. Actually, wait a minute. One more thing. One more thing. I almost forgot. Um, Remember how I said before that we should write out our text? Uh, well, if I go back here and grab the text that I was planning on using for the home page, so this right here, I'll copy that and come back over here. And instead of description, uh, let's delete that and let's grab the text tool. And instead of just clicking, we're going to click and drag, and it'll draw. It'll drag out a a text box and we can paste in our text that we want so then what I can do now is uh, you know select the size and uh, a font that I like and start to uh, figure out the layout of you know like how how big of this box do I really need um, I might be able to just move this uh, demo reel one more column over and get a higher resolution video because uh, it looks like I don't have that much text. So, um, let me just fix a couple things. Um, if you open up a uh, paragraph, you want to make sure hyphenate is unchecked because uh, Dreamweaver isn't going to hyphenate your text. Uh, and what that is, is like, if I turn it on, um, see it says, in my major, I'm... Uh, I'm majoring, sorry, in computer, and computer is hyphenated. Dreamweaver doesn't do that. Photoshop does that sometimes. So I'm just going to uncheck hyphenate so that I get a more accurate view of what will actually show up. Uh, another good thing to do is to use a common font. Um, Dreamweaver has like font families that it uses. Uh, I think Georgia is one of them, Arial is another. So pick one of those font families. Uh, I'm just going to go with Arial. Uh, that way, we, we're using a font that's not only the right font size, but also the font itself is the right size. Like Some, some fonts are bigger fonts than others um, and will take up more space. So if we use a font, uh, a font that is about the right size, we'll have a better view of what this will actually look like in Dreamweaver. So here's my text. Uh, let me fix a few things. Um, I think I'm just checking to see if there's any like returns in there that might be messing with the formatting. And to do that, I'm just uh, deleting a space and then making a space at the end of the lines. So I think if I, yeah. All right. So I'm just going to space this out again. Oops. So I definitely have more space than I was thinking. Um, and I could make this a little bit bigger. I could make it 14. Still, I have a little bit of space. So maybe I'll just go back here. Um, well, let me let me resize this. Make this smaller. Resize my text box. So what if it's like this? 
What if we put this back to 12? How does that look? I don't know, it feels a little cramped. Um, I'm going to go back to what I had before. Uh, I think this looks better. But um, this is why it's good to have the actual text that you want, because you can check these things. Uh, if you don't have the text, you can use uh, lorem ipsum. So if you just go to lipsum.com, so L-I-P-S-U-M dot com. Um, it, this is like filler text, uh, fake text to just you know be a placeholder for when you get the actual text. You can use this, but if you don't have the actual text, uh, you don't really know how much space you're working with. Um, so it you you don't know if your design will actually work or not. That's why I like to have the text before I do any design work. Um, and if if the text is too long or uh, not long enough, um, then make changes to the text uh, to fit the design. It, it works back and forth. So this is Lipsum. You can just click Generate, and it'll make filler text that you can copy and paste. Uh, one note. Uh, if you're copying and pasting into Dreamweaver, you're going to want to use a program like Notepad uh, or TextEdit to strip uh, whatever you're copying from any styling information, so like what, what font, what size, uh, what color, that sort of thing. Uh, when you copy and paste it in a Notepad, it gets rid of that. So we don't need that anymore. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm happy with this. I think this will work. Um, I'll see you in the next tutorial where we start to uh, refine this to actually look like the website that we want to make. All right, I'll see you in the next one.